Right. All right, I'm here with my friend Bud Cassell, and he has a what do you call it? A well? It's a well cap. Oh. It's, it's going to be a cap for over a well. Over case. a well, it's like six feet deep and has a, a motor at the bottom. The uh, tank and pumps in there. Okay. So you want this uh, cap, and but this is this is at the cottage you have somewhere yeah, up a up Cook's Fort. Okay. Anyway, so he wants this uh, uh, little, he, he built a frame with a plywood over it and he wants me to roof this. But what I want to do is to show you the basic principles of roofing, of torch down roofing. So I'm going to use this opportunity to show you how to install a torch down roof. The, the, all the little tri tricks and tips I have when I do a roof, but this is on a small scale. So that hopefully will help you. So you get half the confidence, you can feel, you can do it, anybody, woman, man, it doesn't matter who. If you, you watch this video, you will probably get enough confidence, you can do your own roof. I'm going to try and give you all the little details and stuff that I always do when I do a roof. So let's get started. You remember <clears throat> that 12 by 16 roof you did for me yeah. a year ago? Yeah. It's never leaked and that's the first time it quit leaking in 15 years. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'll put a little video of that video uh, the, uh, of uh, of that roof we well, did. We just finished redoing the room inside because it doesn't leak. We waited a year to make yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm happy about that because I don't want to call back on that. A bad name, bad reviews, you know. Anyway, if you like this video, just thumbs up, please. Go on load or need more? Go on load. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I'm at. What's that? It's a magnifying glass. I want to see what I'm doing. Oh. <clears throat> I thought you were taking pictures. No, no pictures. What pictures? <laughs> we're not taking pictures. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> this is not a picture taker. <laughs> You're not fooling me. I know I'm on camera. <laughs> 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 yeah. We are in Pennsylvania. We got married three weeks ago. And we are helping a friend redoing his little roof here. This is my wife and all right, let's get started. So the cover of the well that I, I'm gonna roof now and I'm gonna use torch down and now I hope you can learn the little basic principles. So first of all, you have to cover this plywood with a base. You cannot just torch straight over the plywood. I've done it before and not a good idea because you have these, um, uh, what you call it, the joints here and the flame can go through the joints and catch the insulation on fire. So you don't want that. So um, first of all, you get the A base. The simplest way is to put a self-adhering base that has like this. You see, it's very stick, it's tacky. Look, my hand, it sticks to my hand. See, and it comes in a roll like this. Okay, and you put it to the edge of the plywood or of your roof, and you roll this out. Oops, camera's in the way. You roll it out like that. To the edge and then you peel back the you peel back the plastic from underneath it like that see I'm peeling the plastic out and that will stick to the plywood very simple now only half of it got peeled back so I got to go to the other half now and peel that off in this plastic on the other side Okay, all right, so that's, okay, so that, let me just show you, I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to cut back the section that's too much, you see the hook blade, I use Milwaukee, Milwaukee knife with a hook blade, and you, you it cuts easy. All right, and I got it 
you can see over the edge there, I got overlapping four inches here, all right? And I peel back the plastic, like that. You see that? Now you, now your roof is covered. I peel plastic back on this side. Mm -hmm. I can get it. And if, if you happen to have it like this, it can rain, it's not gonna leak. Very nice. This can, this will last at least a year in the sun if you don't put the roof, a cover over this. But look, it's starting to stick. Look, if this gets hot in the sun, this will stick so well, you will not be able to take it off. This is a, a roofer's nightmare if you want to strip a roof and you want to strip it down to the plywood. You cannot almost get this off. Very good material. And I mean, everything starts sticking to it. So I trim the edge. So I trim the edges like that. I got the material trimmed. This is a perfect base now. <coughs> so the next step you want to do is you want to put a drip edge around. Um, but he wanted me to wrap the wrap the material down to the edge here, over the edge, and that's what a lot of people do. That's not the right way to do it. Okay? There are people doing it. They bring the material and they wrap it around this edge. That's not the right way. Let me show you what's the right way. All right, I got a drip edge here. <clears throat> you see this? This is meant for shingles. This is a shingle roof drip edge. Very thin gauge. It bends easy. Look. See how it bends? And uh, I don't recommend this. If you look at the uh, angle, you see this? This drip edge? It will not cover the, uh, the, the fascia board or the 2 by on this side. So what I normally do is I, I use commercial drippage and I want to show you the difference. Here's the difference. So the difference is, this is I think 32 gauge. You can hear as much, this is nothing, this is nothing. Look at this, 32 gauge. And it's a three inch by three inch reveal. So when you put it over the edge, it covers that uh, uh, fascia much further. And I'm gonna show you the trick here. So here's what I like. I like this, it lies flat, and I'm gonna put the drip edge on now, okay? So the first thing is to cut the drip edge. You cannot stop a drip edge. You don't wanna stop it. <clears throat> you don't wanna stop right here at the corner. You wanna make a solid piece around the corner. So what you do is, you cut. So the way to cut this metal so it can go around the corner is like this. You cut a V out. Let me show you. See a V? Right to the end there. And another V there. Another, I mean, another cut there. Okay. You take that. That's the V, and then you also cut right at the bottom here, that little kick out there. You cut a little notch in there, like that. And then when you bend it, it gets, bends like that, see? Right there, 90 degrees, and that's it, that's what you get there. See, and then you put it on your, on your roof, on the edge, and you put it. All right, so. So then, before you can put this drip edge on now, after you cut it, you have to remove the plastic. There's a plastic um, protector on a metal. So when they sell it to you, they sell it with this protection. Let me show you. See the plastic there? It's not always easy to get it off. And before you nail it down, you gotta take this off. Okay, so remove the plastic protection, okay. I forgot to mention, this 
you can buy it around three or four dollars at Home Depot. This is very cheap, very inexpensive. This is like fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars for every ten foot or twenty dollars, depends on where you get it. So it's a little bit of a difference in price, but if you're going to be cheap on your material, you're going to end, lose at the end because material is, is not the big material. It's labor that's cost money, not the material. Material is not that expensive. It sounds like expensive, but it's not. But most people, uh, they would put this in for you. If you are a homeowner, be aware of this. This is like three dollars. It's nothing. Oh, they on an estimate says, oh, we inst we give you a metal edging this gauge and this gauge. No, this is commercial. Okay. So now, before I can nail this edge down, you see this is where it's going to leak here. That's where it's going to leak, right? You see that? Let me see if I can see that. This is where a possible leak will be, right here. See? There's a gap there. Okay? So what I do is, I use, and this is the only stuff you can use. Um, now I've got to clean my torches. I haven't used my torches for a while. My trowels. You can see the trowels are all full of tar, so I've got to clean that up. Okay. Clean the torches. You heat them up. You heat them up like that. And then you scrape them clean. You see that? Nice and clean. Okay. Once your trowel is clean, you take this stuff. See this stuff? It's called um, modified by uh, Karnak. That's the only material you can use. This is what I sell. But Karnak 81 is even better. But I cannot always get it. Karnak 66 will do. So you take Karnak right in there. Right in there, see there? And I slide that inside. That's how you seal that between the two. It's sealed there, okay? And then you take, you take a, a few nails and you can nail this down, all right? There you go, nice, 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 all right? And I nail this end, it will never lift there and I now I've got, I got this edge tight. You make an, a joint here, like five inches over each other. You do the same thing. You add a little bit of a dab of tar there, harnack, just a little bit, and you seal that joint like that. You nail it down right there at the edge. Do the same. You, you lift it up a little bit. Dab some tar in there, and you're done. And you do this all the way around with all the seams and wherever metal overlaps with each other. I'm going to use a peel and stick on this flat section, but I'm going to torch the seams. If you don't torch the seams, it's going to leak. But I'm going to use a peel and stick on this because it's black. I didn't have a white uh, torch down, but I will. I'll probably show you how I do the torch on this one in the middle to lift to make the middle a little bit higher than the edges so water can run off, okay? Pull out like that. Now I've cut it short because uh, there's water sitting here. You can build it up with this material. It's very expensive to build up with the material, but you can. So I'll show you how to do that, okay? So here's what we do. Once you got the roll measured out, you roll it back. And you should watch the videos how I do torching. You roll it back like this, okay? Once it's rolled back like that, I mean, I have a small torch. This is a detailed torch. This is not a torch for doing a huge roof, but look how it is. So you can see how this base gets tacky. So what you're trying to do is... All right, I'm gonna stop this video right here and split it in two so watch the next video and give me thumbs up please thank you